Hello, I'm here at Dursfold Farm in Surrey with the legendary Miss Lynn Russell um, and today she's going to show us how to clip and trim a horse's face and uh, make him ready and presentable for the show ring. So Lynn, what are we going to do with uh, this lovely chap here today? Well this is Demos, you've met him before. What we're going to do is to just trim the jawline and enhance his face. Okay. okay, but what we want to do is to make it look natural. We don't want to make it look as if we've clipped him and we don't want to leave clipping lines all over his face. Mm -hmm. And bearing in mind that we are in January, he's got quite a big coat, it uh, takes a little bit of skill to do. Mm -hmm. uh, ideal to use a head collar that's got a clip here so that you can undo it and have access to the horse's head. If you've got someone to hold it, all the better because you do need to keep him still. Mm -hmm. And we'll start from the bottom, switch the clippers on. Let him know what you're going to do and keep your strokes quite long. And again, let the clipper blade sit flat on the horse's head. Don't dig it in. And you work your way up the jawline. Okay, and then pull the head collar down out of the way. Up round the cheekbone. And again, you, you may need to grade it in, but if you can see the angle that I'm using the blade at, we're not actually going into the cheek. It's jealous, he's not getting the attention. Yeah. And then when you get up through here, just lightly put the clipper blade through so you shape the head and the neck together and work your way down. But always just have the clipper lightly. Don't push it in because you just don't want to make a, what I call a step. Yes, because normally if he was fully clipped, then obviously it would be a completely different process. Yeah, it? but to be honest, I, I try not to clip them if I can help it, because once I start competing early season, their coat colour is better. Okay, we're now going to go around the mouth and the muzzle. So again, same way. Try and just grade it in so you don't get any chopping. And you can see as we're doing it how much sharper the horse's head appears, where he was all sort of fluffy and woolly. We're now starting to get that what I call show ring look. He's nice and sharp. So we'll work our way through. And what type of clippers do you prefer to use in? Well, I'm a fan of these because um, these are the wall Adler clippers because I have a lot of young horses to deal with and some of them very often from Ireland have never been clipped before and to just go and plug in great big clippers and switch them on, they find terrifying. Yeah. Um, how we actually start is we might sort of brush a horse or groom the horse with these clippers in the other hand and then you just literally you work your way down to getting the clipper onto the horse and to be honest I find very very few horses um, take exception to these clippers. They're very quiet aren't yeah, they? Yeah they are, they're very very good indeed. Um, they're battery operated and so I've always got batteries on charge so if I do run out of power I can just go and get another battery and pop it on. And what are the other things to watch out for? I know you've mentioned before, is it then getting hot and when to change the uh, blade? Yeah, the, the thing with a battery operated clipper uh, is it won't overheat because it's not plugged into the electric. So um, as much as possible, especially if you're dealing with young horses or you're a little bit inexperienced, the battery operated clipper is a very safe option. Um, but you do, you do need to make sure you keep your blades clean all the time while you're clipping keep them well oiled and the minute they start to pull in a horse's coat then you you need to change your blades right um, most uh, clipper manufacturers do offer a resharpening system so you can have your blades resharpened if necessary so is that um, what you do you send yours back to a while and then they come back I do. you must go through some <laughs> i go through masses of blades because i'm i'm probably clipping and chewing more horses than most people yeah. because i have to do my show cobs and I have to do the horses that I sell, and obviously the race horses too need trimming, but they don't have the hair that these do. So, as you can see, we've now got one horse with a very smart head. Lovely. Lynn okay. Russell, no wonder you always look good in the show ring. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you indeed. very much indeed.